of us just can't get off our smartphones. I keep mine with me all the time. But the problem is, you may be keeping your cell phone with you when you're sleeping. Of course, many of us stay up at night, we check our messages, and we keep our phones right next to us by the bed. All those habits may be ruining our sleep, so the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to explain what we can do to get our sleep back on track. And I know I was just telling you, I was yeah. checking my phone last night when I should have been sleeping. Uh, yeah, I do the same thing. I use it as my alarm clock. And according mm -hmm. to the website, uh, sleep.org, 71% uh, of Americans polled say they sleep with their smartphone either in their hand or in their bed or on their nightstand. And it is hard to resist the temptation to check your phone because it's right there. But you may want to rethink that. If you need better sleep, lose the smartphone or at least get it out of your bedroom. Because Emory internist Dr. Sharon Burquist says research is increasingly showing that using smartphones and computers close to bedtime can not only make it harder for us to fall asleep, it can hurt the quality of the sleep we're getting. And she says when you look at the studies on kids and smartphones and sleep. They've gone a step further than the studies on adults. They've shown that even having your smartphone in the bedroom, not turned on, but just in the bedroom, affects how sleepy kids are the next day and disrupts their sleep. The problem might be the blue light emitted by these devices. This blue light is very stimulating. It makes you mentally alert. It also lowers your level of melatonin. That's the hormone that lets you get drowsy and sleepy at night and it controls your sleep-wake cycle. So how can you get better sleep? The most important part is just power down 30 minutes before bedtime. Put the phone away. If you use your phone as your alarm clock, Request says find another way to wake up. Just get the cell phone out of the bedroom. Um, use an alarm clock the good old-fashioned way. And if you wake up in the middle of the night to use the restroom, as hard as it can be, resist the urge to check your messages or send off a text. A lot of times getting that level of alertness can disrupt your ability to fall back asleep. So stay groggy if you have to get up to use the restroom and just get right back in bed. Without checking your texts. Without checking your texts. And researchers from the University of, San, of California, San Francisco, recently used an app to measure exactly how much time their volunteers were actually spending on their smartphones and how much time they were sleeping. And they found that the more time they spent on their phones, the fewer hours they slept, and the longer it took them to fall asleep. But of course, it's hard to let go of our cell phones. But you know, another surprising thing that they're finding, Constance, is that it's really affecting the quality of our sleep. Uh, Once we do fall asleep, we're not sleeping quite as well or as deeply if we've got our little gadget. I, I I've got love one right mine here. too. Yeah. All right. Well, what about sleep hygiene? What is that, and why is it important? So, sleep hygiene is just the good, healthy habits that you get into to help you sleep. So that is, you know, things like getting the gadgets out of your bedroom, <laughs> having a wind down routine that starts maybe about an hour before bedtime where you actually read or do something that relaxes you and just kind of prioritizing sleep. We don't think sleep is really important. If we're not getting sleep, that's really big trouble as far as health. Yeah, why is it so important for our health? I mean, just to Because sleep really plays an essential role in life period, yeah. but it, it plays an essential role like in every aspect of our health. You know, if we're not sleeping well, we're at risk for heart disease, of, you know, weight gain, all kinds of issues that can be serious and chronic. So, it's really worth it to sort of kind of reassess if you're not getting good quality sleep, maybe talk to your doctor about what you can do and what you can change in your habits. Okay, but I, I love my cell phone, but I know. I'll, I'll put it away. All right. I'm going to try. <laughs> All right, Pat, thanks so much. All right.